bottles in the air Swallowed all my problems, now I just don't care And I'm up in the building till they throw me out of here Allow me to reintroduce myself Hello world I hope you miss me What kept you doing it? Well, I had always wanted to do modeling since I was little. I got picked on a lot, so it kind of... I thought it would boost up my confidence a lot, which it really did, so... See, that's good to hear, because a lot of times you hear people who get started in the industry and then quit because of the pressure to be exactly. this or that or the other. Exactly. So it's cool to hear stories where people actually got in and used it as a confidence booster and used it to kind of build yourself up. Exactly. Because for me, that's, you know, the way I see it, the way I... See I hope that it works out for everyone. And yeah, so, exactly. Because it can be a hard industry in the sense that, you know, when you're working on projects, they're looking for a particular type of model, yeah. and you may or may not be, be that, that type. Exactly. Yeah. And so I, I don't know if your experience has been the same, but there'll be projects that I really, really want to work on, and I hear about it, and I'm like, yes, that is, that's, I so want to do that. And then you don't end up getting, getting cast, it, yeah. and, and it's you have to learn to take that in the sense that it wasn't about you as a person. Yeah. It was the particular project and the particular thing that they're looking for. Yeah. And using those things to make it grow and make yourself better as yeah. opposed to internalizing it. Exactly. So exactly. that's cool to hear. But yeah, it's, no, I've had that happen a few times actually. This past week there was a call calling for a Southwest photo shoot and they were looking for a blonde or like a bright redhead. And that's fine. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Just, I wasn't. You're obviously style, not so. in that. You know, exactly. <laughs> not in that genre. Exactly. But that's good, and and I think that's something that it's good to talk with people about early on. You know, people who are just getting involved in the industry, people who yeah. you you know you meet along the way, and they're curious about what it's like. It's that's something to stress is that it can be tough on you, but it also can help you, you know, grow. be a better person. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. Um, so as far as your work, is there anything that you think back and you're like man that was a really cool project that was something I really was proud to be a part of things that stand out in your portfolio yeah I guess. my boyfriend actually helped me do a black tape design with Malik Daniels he's a photographer here as well and he did my hair and my makeup and we went all out and you know what I think I've seen that is yeah. it like like vertical stripe yeah oh yeah, my gosh yeah. that was so cool yeah. so guys if you haven't seen that check it out <laughs> go look at her social media I'm sure it's all over because it was super it took six and a half hours. It, I, oh, yeah. gosh. That's the thing that a lot of people don't realize is the work that goes into yeah. those images. You know, you don't just show up and take pictures. Yeah, like, no. Especially really avant-garde cool stuff like that. Yeah. There's a lot of time that is yeah. involved. Very time consuming. Yeah. <laughs> um, what about gaps? Like things that you have never done but you wish, that, you know, that you would love to do. Hmm. Runway. I would love to do runway stuff. But I haven't yet done that, so... Hopefully in the near so future. So call her if you're looking for a runway girl. She, you know, she wants to get out there and get some experience. <laughs> Something that I um, actually yesterday, so you just missed it, but I'm sure they'll do another one before the event. Uh, there's an open model call for Santa Fe Fashion Week, mm -hmm. and I worked directly with them for several years, and they're really inclusive. And you know, I'm five two. I'm not a <laughs> runway model. I'm never gonna be. You know, I'm not gonna walk the runway at Santa Fe Fashion or at New York Fashion Week because I'm five three. But, hey. <laughs> but here in Santa Fe, you know, it's all the theme of Santa Fe is a city different, yeah. and so they try and make Fashion Week in Santa Fe something a little different. And so I've had the opportunity to work with them. So look into that. I definitely yeah. will. Definitely. <laughs> well, cool. Well, it was nice to get up to know a little bit about you. I'm sure that at the end of this video, you guys will see all of her social media. Go check it out. And if you are interested in working with the lovely here, then go check her out. 
Thank you. Thanks, guys. Yeah, bottles in the air. Swallowed all my problems, now I just don't care. And I'm up in the building till they throw me out of here. Allow me to reintroduce myself. Hello, world. I hope you miss me.